Yeah. I don't know uh, if Roger Bacon would be pleased by the way he was portrayed in this game. Sure, he was a good guy, a powerful magician, and practically uh, immortal, even. But did you actually see how he looked? <laughs> I don't want him to get near me or near my children. And don't let me start with the Rasputin. Holy hell! But hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a new Let's Play. Man, it's uh, in moments like these when, is when you realize that uh, we've been on a long journey. Yeah, we started as an aimless, care careless uh, person on a train, meeting uh, another person that changed his life uh, tenfold and the uh, for the better or the worse it actually depends on how you finish this game it actually I wouldn't say that it depends on how you see uh, things if it's actually for the better or the worse and when then we went and started the journey ultimately went to Shanghai and ultimately destroyed it unintentionally we we've beaten the bad guy, or the we thought that he was the bad guy, but no, he was in Europe all the all the time. We went to the Europe. He tried to summon a false god, and he did. We kicked it his ass. Turns turns out that he was whack. He also looked whack, looked ugly as hell. And then World War One started, thanks to the uh, to a uh, a royal bastard. God damn you, Nikolai. And you, and you think that uh, things got better after that, but no. Some of the good people didn't think that this world uh, was fine and tried to wipe the slate clean. But we ultimately, you know, stopped that. It's a wonderful and strange world view. It's really, really weird, but I am absolutely in love with it. So viewers, I want you to join me one last time to revisit this wonderful world. In Shadow Hearts, from the New World. Man, viewers, I cannot describe to you. There are no words that can describe to you how I am excited, excited to finally start this game man and by the way viewers at the at the moment of me recording uh, uh, this session uh, I've already uploaded uh, both shadow hearts one and two and they uh, they've uploaded uh, they've been uploaded fully uh, there it's not uh, you know it's not an invitation to watch me play it I don't care if you watch me play it or not I actually uh, would uh, highly recommend playing the game for yourselves, and I've always uh, uh, been. But uh, uh, there's a lot, of course. There's a lot. Uh, this game is not uh, connected in terms of story with the uh, with the first and you know with the first and second uh, game. But uh, I would highly recommend that you don't start playing this game. Or even if you decided to watch it until you, you know, you've watched, uh, you've watched, uh, you know, at least one of the two, or probably the second game. I, I still recommend watching, uh, or uh, I still recommend playing both of them. But uh, uh, there it is. I lost also, uh, keep in mind that I'm gonna I'm spoil a lot of the of the when I woke up of, in the, uh, hospital, you know, the previous game. The doctor told me that we'd been involved in an accident. So my father and sister died. The please heat. Trapped in a blaze of burning crimson. If I try and remember anything else, it's terrifying. Man. It's been 13, over 13 years of yours uh, since I actually played uh, this game. 
Uh, I've uh, already finished this game before, viewers, but I've never... I've never... Uh, I've only finished it once, and I've never went to... Uh, I've never got the good ending. And yes, viewers, there's uh, a good and a bad ending in this game. But... Uh, mm, I think... Uh, Omatsu uh, Machida. The legend! Uh, yeah, I, I, th I think uh, what prevented me from uh, getting the uh, the good ending is that it actually required me to finish uh, a certain set of uh, of uh, I realized later that uh, I realized later that I've uh, I haven't f finished a set of uh, of side quests optional mission that actually required required me to get the uh, the good ending and uh, at that time I really didn't know the requirements for the uh, good ending I actually didn't found out until much much later but, uh, w what you need to to do hmm that redhead uh, guy was uh, a little bit familiar viewers don't you think But yeah, as uh, as the previous two playthroughs, by the way, viewers, I'm gonna try to finish. I'm not gonna say every possible side quest, but every side quest that I'm uh, that, I'm in, uh, that I am interested in, I'm gonna try to finish it. I really don't know if this game uh, has as much content as the second game. This game all this game only came on a single uh, disc. What the? Is this a different director? Uh, don't worry, viewers. This game uh, is still a Shadow Hearts game, even though a lot of people cri criticize that this game is, uh, uh, you know, didn't have uh, the all the you know people when I when always uh, when uh, when I hear people describe the Shadow Hearts game, they always describe it uh, describe it as. Oh, it's a survival horror, but I really don't agree with that term. Uh, I think it's a mis uh, uh, a, uh, a misdescri a misdescription of uh, of the uh, of the gory and dark settings of the game. They're not scary or anything. They're just dark, depressing, gory. Uh, and they and th this is actually the the, uh, the series departed uh, way way long after the first game. By the way, it's not something that uh, stayed uh, true in the second game. Uh, sure, uh, maybe at the end uh, the the story you know took a you know a darker and a in a, in a more depressing turn. But uh, uh oh. Uh, I think I'm gonna get banned from YouTube viewers for showing, you know, ass and titties. <laughs> hmm, well, what's wrong with this lady? Was she, uh... What's that? Was that the Chrysler Tower or something? Oh. What the... Did she just fuse? So, uh, Alice and Yuri had a baby, huh? Hmm. <laughs> no, no. It's not. It's not yours. <gasps> this game, uh, has no relation to, to, to the previous two games in terms of story. It's in the same setting. In the same world. But, uh, none of the characters... Well, I'm not gonna go, uh, say... Uh, not all of the characters actually hey, relate to that. Where have you been? What the? It's the enemy. It's Lenny. What to do, master? You've got a customer waiting. Wait. Yeah, a customer. We're working with the enemy. What the hell is going on here? Whoa. And I thought uh, Roger Bacon was the ugliest thing uh, in the series. Nah, he Welcome still is. <laughs> He's still the ugliest. I'm the boss, Johnny Garland. 
Um, Johnny Garland, yes, huh? How do you do? My name is Gilbert, and I'm a teaching professor from a well-known university in Boston. Boston? Sit down. Your name is Mark. He's told by a reliable source that Mark wanna go, uh, go take a stroll in, on, in pork. <laughs> I tried to do an, a Boston yes, accent. This man. I tried. I've heard rumors that someone who looks very much like him has been seen around Manhattan recently. Oh, he's trying to look. Uh, Marlo Brown. For this he's a person. Man person. Charges on at least eight counts of attempted murder, Damn. disorderly conduct, etc., etc. He was released on parole three days ago, and right off the bat, escaped. Without paying any bail money. My god, he sounds like trouble. I don't get it. What do you want a guy like that for anyway? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Let's just say we have a business relationship. He got out on bail, as you know, but I am his bond guarantor. Oh. You see, if I don't find him and fast, I'm going to be stuck with coming up with every cent of his bail money. Hmm. I got it. Well, I'll I guess help. that makes sense, even though Lenny He's as good as in your hands. doesn't think so. Uh, when will the game explain the, the Lenny situation? Can the game explain it? Because Lenny was a bad guy. Well, he was, uh, you know. Are you sure? He had some honor, Accepting such I guess. a dangerous case like that? What are you talking about? We just got our first real case, you know. Until now, all of our jobs have been things like sweeping factory chimneys <laughs> and searching for runaway cats. Shim shiminy, shim shiminy, shim shim shiri. Master, think about it. Don't you think it's time to quit this? It's already been a year since you left the house and opened the agency. How's your father's business going to succeed without you to run it? Are we going Not to play as again. this kid? I told you I don't want to work there anymore. If you miss Why it so that, what, what, what's you what's wrong with yourself? you, Japan? Let me letting me play with the, day, with teenagers. I swore I would serve you for the rest of my life. Teenagers that are capable you are one heart, one capable mind. of saving the world. I can't some way. working anywhere Ugh. without you, my master. Okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, for starters, I'm going to ask some questions. Take care of things while I'm gone. Hey, wait a minute. At least let me come with you. He doesn't have the same voice I actor. Hope young master's going to be all right out there on his own. Huh. Welcome everyone to Shadow Hearts from the New World. Save point. This blue circle on the sub map is called a save point. If you open the command main, uh, if you open the command menu from the save point and select data, then save. You can save your game data. <laughs> I really miss this music. I really do miss it. Hmm. Let me just go ahead and drop a save here. Uh, I guess I can use this. Yeah, this is a uh, slot one had the my uh, my Shadow Hearts two save. Uh, I actually cannot remember uh, what things we can get uh, if we had a, if we had a. A previous uh, save from Shadow Hearts 2. If it actually will reward you uh, with anything like uh, like uh, the second game did, but um, I'll 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 research that later. I'll research that later. There's a, there are a couple of things that I want to read, but uh, before I actually do that, I should have uh, saved uh, after I picked that. That, that up, but that's a, a uh, talisman of luck, which is uh, pretty much uh, uh, the phoenix down of this game. I'm Johnny Garland, and I'm 16. 16? I'm a private detective living in New York City, and like Lenny was saying, the truth is my father died three years ago, 
and I was supposed to take over running his company. But living on an inheritance doesn't really do it for me. So I opened my own office. <laughs> Damn, he's a millionaire. I'm a detective. That accident didn't just take my family. It also took part of my memories. There is something important I had to remember. Damn, his, uh, his papa is hell old. Something that really means something. You know, usually if you have uh, kids that, that this young, you probably uh, be a little bit help uh, me to remember. younger. Whoa, is he Haven't drinking you? something? Oh no, that's a, that's Not a hot dog. <laughs> even Lenny. I thought that was a you know a bottle wrapped in a in a sheet uh, or something, but in a bag. Well, first I'll start collecting info nearby. Well, I guess uh, this is our first objective, is to try and find info about uh, that, uh, what was his name? Marlo? Something something Marlo. But before we do that, you know it viewers, you know it. It is uh, reading time. Yeah, by the way viewers, I'll have to remind everyone that this is something that I will do uh, on a regular basis. Reading item descriptions, even if it's uh, long as hell, because I think it is uh, part of the game, part of the lore. And actually, this game does a lot of good, uh, does a really, really good job in, in you know, describing these kind of items and relating it to the to the world and the lore. It does enrich it in some way. I, I actually, I'm a big fan of actually the way that they. Uh, Described some of these items. Most of it, actually, even. They they put some work. Theraleaf. A wild uh, herb from the highlands of both Europe and Asia. Well, I guess we are in, in America, New York. How the hell did that get here? Has remarkable regenerative and healing properties and almost no taste, make it, making it perfect even for picket children. Goddamn children. And we have the mana leaf that increases, uh, you know, our MP. A spiritual plant uh, that restores lost magic power. Gone in secret by the descendants of witches. The exact method to cultivate it remains a mystery. Ooh. Pure leaf. Grown on the South American plains. This relaxant uh, relieves deep down stress when eaten. At the present time, no uh, adverse side effects have been reported. Well, unlike marijuana, smoke weed! <laughs> a tent. A portable tent. Uh, this is will restore uh, your, uh, your health fully, but you need to use it in a save point. I don't think you can use it outside of a save point. Yeah, I think I'm sure of that. You cannot use it outside of, the, you know, of a save point. A portable tent compact for carrying... Uh, but big enough to uh, compact uh, for carrying, but big enough uh, to fully heal the entire party. However, it must then be thrown away because no one can fold it up again. <laughs> what a stupid reason! I mean, if it's the, you should reuse that over and over again. And this is the item that we just picked up: talisman of luck, a talisman embossed with a four-leaf clover, the universal symbol for luck. Made from powerful magic, it can never be torn. It revives the fallen. Yes. Uh, it's the phoenix down of this game. Oh, they actually gave us a lot of uh, items. These guys don't want us to die immediately. Hmm. And this is the protagonist of the game. It is Johnny Garland. 16-year-old private detective. Does just about anything from finding lost cats to cleaning out uh, gutters. His reckless personality often leads to trouble. Ah, oh, I don't actually remember if he was uh, reckless. And he has no uh, affinity for some reason. None. Really, really strange. Uh, what else? Oh, there are characters, of course. Lenny Curtis! Was his name Lenny Curtis? Was it really described as uh, that his name was Lenny Curtis? But yeah, this is Lenny! He's back! But really strange, I don't know if this g the game will actually uh, talk about uh, how, you know, how he actually transitioned, you know, uh, from his previous life to this uh, life, but... Uh, but hey, he's here! 
Lenny Curtis looks after the house office and everything in between. You wouldn't think it uh, you wouldn't think it to look at him, but he is quite a charmer and a bit of a hit with neighborhood housewives. <laughs> you go Lenny. You dog. <laughs> nice. Sir. Uh Gilbert uh, the suspicious-looking professor approaches uh, Johnny and asks him to find a suspect in uh, in an assault case. Who knows what's really going on behind that smirk? Yeah, <laughs> this game always uh, this game always uh, uh, <laughs> uh, spoil uh, the game for you with these descriptions. They spoiled uh, Nikolai in the first game, and now they're gonna spoil Gilbert. I'm not gonna say that he's a bad guy, viewers. But who knows? Maybe he's not. Oh, this is the uh, the score. This is something that I really didn't talk about uh, a lot in the uh, in the previous games. But uh, you have a certain rank, and you actually have some sort of a reward if you finish uh, the game with a high rank. And there's a a couple of uh, requirements to do that. But uh, the reward is. Uh, uh, nothing interesting, really. The ward in this game is uh, not that interesting, so... Uh... Well, there are a lot of things that we... I can, I can actually check. A photograph of the suspect, Marlo Brown. A photo of Marlo Brown, who is accused of assault and murder. In this uh, monochrome photo, you can see the blank expression of a man who has lost his sanity. <laughs> you seen some shit! Oh, I've read about the weapons. Clip point. Tough, rust-resistant knife, easy for anyone to use. Damn, that's a, that's a combat knife. Popular design of knife... Uh, of knife? Okay. A made from uh, stainless steel, it resists rust and is sturdy and easy to use. Used by the whole family for cooking and household jobs. Dude, that's a military knife! What the hell are you talking about? A cotton shirt, a simple plain shirt. A cotton shirt, regular, uh, regular man's wear. Uh, tough yet easy to move in, and warm in winter and cool in summer. It's simple design that suits anyone makes it very popular. Looks cool. Yeah, this game still uh, has a you know <laughs> does a lot of uh, a great job in actually uh, in uh, in uh, what you call it in describing these. Items. Don't worry, viewers. I'm gonna spare you these for now. For now, there are a couple of things that I actually want to read, but uh, I want to try and read the essentials, the ones that actually does matter uh, uh, here, because uh, uh, especially w w when it comes to the game, to the combat and gameplay mechanics, because this game uh, still stay true to what uh, Shadow Hearts 2 offered, but it did uh, a certain tweaks that. Uh, Try, uh, you know, to try and balance the game, and uh, uh, kind of made it harder, you know, to uh, to be, to win uh, to win with easily. Don't don't get me wrong. This game is still uh, broken. You can break this game hella, but uh, it's uh, a more balanced experience compared to to the second game. Hardworking Eddie, still playing detective. If you got so much free time, how about sweeping chimney at my shop? Oh man. Shim shimini, shim shimini, shim shim shiru. Uh, dip the uh, fishing maniac. Oh, the weather's, the weather's nice again today. I'm gonna cast a line and listen to the Hudson River. Oh, I don't think fish is going to live in there because... Uh, you know, that river suppo is supposedly dirty. Overjoyed uh, Winona. I was just out with my husband when I nagged him about going on a trip. He said he'd take out the car for me. Everyone could use a sweet husband, huh? Since he did something for me, 
Maybe I'll make a nice dinner tonight. Uh, dinner? Well, only uh, if you have the dessert afterward, and that dessert is uh, you. <laughs> have a nice day! This is a family-friendly uh, game! No viewers, it's not. <laughs> There's a lot of sexual indu innuendo in this game. Didn't you see the uh, the cutscene, the star, the uh, the intro cutscenes, viewers? Quick-tempered Lana. Oh, you're the peeping co uh, Tom from before. Uh oh. I I don't peep. I was on a love affair investigation. Mm hmm. Love affair investigation. Is that your, uh... Is that your, uh, get out of jail card? <laughs> Johnny! Laid back Marge. Oh my. Yeah, your work sounds tough. Be careful not to get hurt. Hmm, they know him? Hmm. Sleepy Homer. Don't! Oh. Lately, no matter how much I sleep, I can't shake this drowsiness. I'm, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, I can't shake this drowsiness. I'm gonna go home and take a nap. Uh, I actually kind of feel the same way, you know, the past few days. <laughs> Gotta be honest. And here we got mana leaf. Nice suit. Cheeky Joshua. What? You're looking for someone? Doing real detective work for ch for a change? You piece of shit! Even a little, even even this little kid is talking talking trash to you, Johnny. None of your business. Anyway, have you seen the person in this photo? Damn, Johnny, you sound whack. Hmm. Nope. Never seen him before. You might want to look in Times Square. There's a lot more people over there. Oh yeah, we are we are in New York. Times Square, huh? Okay, I'll go check it out. Yeah, because even on the weekdays, Times Square is uh, packed with people, from shoppers to tourists. Uh, I think this is the mostly the case. This is the obvious thing in weekdays, that it should be crowded. I can't stand all that noise, so... I preferred it here, in the quiet west side. No, oh. I don't know, this area looked like it has a lot of, uh, of sound pollution as well. Who are you? Issa, who, ca who came to play. Issa, what will be your name? Are you still busy being a detective? Aw, either way, you're probably not busy, so I thought we could play. I mean, what can we play? Not a kid! Speed limit. Were there any speed limits back in the... What year are we in, actually? I actually kind of... Kind of for, forgot. But I think the game will state that. Later. Oh, hey! The main menu! Or the world map menu. You can open the uh, you can open the command menu by pressing the triangle button in the world map. From the command menu, you can save at any time. Hmm. Good thing that you've said that. Let's go ahead and drop a save. And, uh, it is time for us to head to Times Square. Now, where are we at? Are we, uh, is this in New York? Or is this, uh... Is New Jersey part of New York? <laughs> I really don't know. It's old Chicago. I don't think Chicago is even near New York. Uh, Bunny Bee. Lemonade. Oh, this is a lemon stand. Oh, what's up, officer? Gary on patrol. This is famous for being a busy street. Even if something happens, no one thinks anything of it. Because cause it's uh, so crowded. Even then, if you compare it to Harlem, I still think uh, this is much better. 
Hmm, Harlem? Hmm, I don't think characters here uh, have multiple uh, dialogues line, but, uh, you know. Uh, I'm, I'll probably go ahead, I'll probably, you know, check uh, NPCs multiple times to see if they have something different to say from now on, uh, you know, once in a while. Howard, the street vendor. Ma'am, when you come to Times Square, you gotta try this, or you're missing out. Think I'd trick you? Hey now. Uninterested uh, in Fad's uh, hiss. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, you look at it, uh, it's just uh, bread with uh, pepper sauce. I wonder if there's something to it. Bread with pepper sauce? What's that? Rosetta the compulsive shopper. The city has everything, so when I come, I buy too many things despite myself. Despite myself? Is that a, is that a uh, sentence? Is that a complete sentence? Oh, but don't tell my husband, okay? Well, uh, as long uh, <laughs> as you do, uh, you do as uh, what was uh, you should do what uh, Winona will do to uh, to to her husband. Make dinner and offer uh, dessert. Hand hand, twink twink. Same dialogue. This uh, this uh, this uh, song is cool. Hmm, times. That's a car. Oh, uh, we can. Uh, there are familiar models, by the way, <laughs> from the previous game, like this one. Wealthy George. George is getting upset. My socks have been doing well lately. Look at this car of mine. I bought it just like that. Shit looking right yeah the phase American dream the phrase American dream it's like it was made just for me I can't stop laughing gyar, gyar, gyar. did I do the laugh for our right viewers no feels bad man gyar, gyar, gyar. Mm, Smith I think uh, you're, uh, yeah, 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 you're Gary. Hmm. I'm actually, you know, trying to, uh, uh, you know, take a look at the surroundings. I like the design of this game. Uh, tell that you now. <laughs> nice reference. I don't know if you guys spotted it. Whoa! What was that sound? Huh? Hey, city boy! Wait one second! Huh? What? Who? Me? Whoa! Wah! What was that? Huh? What a weird bandana. Hmm, this guy looks familiar. Oh, wait. I think we know this guy, or I, at least he's gonna be one of the two. Ooh, just like I thought. City, oh, I'm not. Uh, non viewers, I'm not gonna do it. City boys are cute. <laughs> you might be my type. Hey, Gary, you're gonna cheat on me right in front of my eyes? Oh God, damn! He got, uh, you know, they got. He got hitched. Well, it's actually... Oh, it's uh, Gerard! It's, uh, I think it's either... It was Gerard and Pierre, the brothers. So this is Gerard. Jerry, for short. Huh. So, kid, what's your name? So, yeah, this is uh, Gerard from the previous game. The vendor. Now he has, uh, you know... He has a partner. Um, It's Johnny Garland, but... Johnny, huh? That's a nice name. It's got a nice ring to it. Effeminate man. <laughs> uh, hey Johnny baby, can I call you that? Please don't. <laughs> no! No way! Oh, so cold hearted. Well, no biggie. I'm Gerard uh, Majimel, a merchant. 
This is my honey. Uh, I think viewers, I think I was actually kind of a, kind of a, confused by how you pronounced uh, this name. Uh, but I think it's actually Danish. When I uh, well, when I asked someone, and someone actually Danish responded that this is a uh, a common name in da in uh, you know in Danish countries, and da in you know in uh, in you know in, you know in in, uh, in Bulgaria and uh, the Netherlands, and uh, and it's actually pronounced uh, Buichen. Uh, and I, I used to call it. I used to call him Bujin, but uh, but uh, that was a really weird name. But he, it, it sounded definitely sounded uh, European. So it's uh, Buichen. We just arrived in this land. Nice to meet you. Ah, nice to meet you too. Um, I'm in a bit of a rush, so I'm just gonna get going now. Well, aren't you an impatient boy? And we just got uh, to meet you. That's right. Stay oh my god, it's that walk again. <laughs> That's right. Stay and talk uh, a little longer. I'll even give you something special of mine. Uh, do I want to know what's that? Actually, viewers, I don't know if you uh, noticed his emblem in his uh, left uh, arm, but uh, it looks familiar. <laughs> I'm not gonna, uh, gonna say who's that. Yet another reference? Ah, oh, we got a point card. What's that? A point card. That's right, a point card. If you shop at my store, you'll collect points on your card. When you collect enough points, you can buy things for cheap, or we'll pay more uh, for things you want to get rid of. So this is something that's gonna work uh, like how the second game work uh, pretty much if you're successful with the ring did you just mutter something uh, uh no nothing anyway this card's a great deal aren't you pleased hey hey no fair cutting in uh, no fair cutting in Gary well in that case I have a present for the boy too uh you gave me cancer. Nice, thanks. <laughs> cancer Stellar chart acquired. What's a Stellar ch uh, chart? And we're gonna find out. Uh, well, I guess the game will explain. It, but uh, I think we'll. I think the game will explain it uh, much better later. Stellar magic. By equipping a Stellar chart, you will be able to use Stellar magic. The type of Stellar magic depends on the type of. Stellar on your Stellar chart. Whoa. You can do magic with this. Keep it on your body at all times. Just pretend that it's, uh, it's me. Huh? What does that mean? No, honey. How audacious. How audacious. I'm sorry. Oh, well. Thank you. Can I get going now? I'm really in a hurry. Oh, really? That's too bad. Alright. We'll be doing business around here for a while longer. We'll be waiting for you, Johnny Baby. Gah. Gah. Yeah, by the way, viewers, if you haven't spotted the reference, it's Gebetto and Cornelia. This is uh, the sign there. Nice reference to Gebetto and Cornelia from the uh, second game. I met Gary in England. Well, a lot has happened since, and now we're uh, eloping. Oh, good for you, I guess. Just us guys, huh? They say that New York has uh, lots of attractive people. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Oh, sorry, did you come to shop, Johnny Baby? Yep, shopping. What does he have to offer? I don't think they we have uh, they have anything that I actually want want to get viewers, but uh... 
Yeah, but yeah, uh, I think uh, this game, you know, for, uh, with the way that you know shops work, I think I think it's actually works similar to uh, to how the second game work. So we have a single card, and the more we buy, the more we are successful with the with the judgment ring. Uh, the more uh, points that we'll, uh, you know. The, the we will get more points and ultimately we'll get, to, you know, chances to get better discounts. And that's how the game will work. I told you to quit calling me that! Run away! There's a treasure chest here. Containing a tent! Alright. Oh, didn't talk to you. Strolling castle. Huh? You're looking for someone? Who? Oh, this man? I think I've seen him. Oh, a lead? Really? Where? Where? Where was it now? Oh, right. It was in Chelsea. I saw him in a rundown theater that's over there. What, Chelsea? I thought Chelsea... Uh... <laughs> Maybe there's an area called Chelsea in, in America. I don't know. Uh, I noticed him because he looked uh, kind of fishy and staggered as he walked. It was this guy, I'm quite certain. Near the theater in Chelsea, huh? Got it. Thank you. In Chelsea, there's a lot of ill-bred folk. Uh, if you're gonna go, be extra careful. Oh, gonna meet dangerous people there? Oh, well, thanks for the heads up. Mm. And uh, we'll be able to access Chelsea. Actually, before we do that, I want to go... I want to go back. Yeah, this is something that I actually should have uh, done earlier. I want to go back and talk to Lenny. And, you know, explore this area a little bit. Enter a cool looking room, gotta be honest. And there's a treasure chest here that contains a Thera leaf. Naisu, naisu. Master, don't overstrain yourself. Is that it, Lenny? Really? Not gonna talk about how the hell did you get here or, so, or anything? Maybe he'll actually, as I said before, maybe he will... He'll talk about that later. I really don't, do not remember. There's a treasure chest over here. Containing... Mana Leaf. Alright. And uh, this game is generous with the healing items at the very beginning of the game. I don't think we'll be... we'll actually need them. Oh, there's something here. A pure leaf near the guitar. Goddamn, uh, Johnny knows how to play the, the guitar? Or is he one of those... Uh, but, you know, buys the uh, guitar, uh, guitars just for show. Holy hell, this football is huge! Oh, it has something near it. Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little beat. I'm still okay, so I guess uh, we'll be able to take a nap here. To restore uh, some health, or something like that. Damn, that's a cool jacket. Can I not change it? Mm, there's a poster here. Cool looking dick, gotta be honest. Alright. Uh oh, sleepy Homer, we'll talk to you. Arvius. Let's go ahead and uh, try and find uh, Marlowe in Chelsea. All right, let's go ahead and head to Chelsea. Yeah, by the way, viewers, this is the... <laughs> my second attempt in recording this session. Actually, I recorded like a, an hour and a half and found out that my... My microphone wasn't working, so... I'll have to do uh, uh, this all over again. Which yeah, I'm fine with, really. I'm, you know, usually I'd be bummed if I... Uh, if I uh, 
if this happened to me uh, when I uh, when I play a game that I'm not enjoying or and actually that that is something that tells me if I really enjoy the game or not is it actually worth it to redo that or not but for this game I, I'm enjoying it it's uh, I'm I don't have any problems actually replay uh, replaying all that section all over again I'm having fun out for a stroll Edmund I survived the Civil War uh, the city's uh, thriving today because we risked our, risked our lives fighting. Huh. Well, this guy must be old then. What tier are we in, viewers? Is this actually immediately... Uh, are we uh, immediately in the same... Uh, the same time as... Uh, that everything happened in the previous game? In the 1915... Uh, or 16 or something terry-eyed rococo excuse me have you seen a girl and boy sister and brother around here they normally come back before dinner oh i'm so worried dinner at this time hmm. a boy and a girl huh frightened lawrence in recent days, uh, strange mons have been coming uh, from this theater at night. I can hear screams or something. I wonder if there's a ghost. No. Even a ghost would be okay, because if it were a person's voice... You, you prefer that it's actually a person and not a ghost? You, pr prefer, uh, p you prefer it to be a ghost and not a person? Why? Goofing off Christy. Why are you saying? Huh. Ghost stories this time of year. Are you trying to pick me up? Uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, there's a hidden treasure chest here that contains coral lariat. Uh, we're not. I'm not gonna equip, uh, equip it. I don't know if you viewers actually can remember the coral lariat. It's one of these. Uh, it actually slow down the judgment ring, and we we go uh, on to the judgment ring, and you know the combat mechanics uh, in a few viewers. As its rotation speed of judgment ring to seventy five percent. Lariat made by a trader who traveled uh, the oceans, collecting coral. Magic in the slow growing uh, coral reduces judgment ring uh, rotation speed. All right. Uh, Trattoria. Hmm. I wonder if these uh, if these shops are actually famous. Is Gepetto uh, and uh, Cornelia a famous shop there, or even a real life uh, real life location there? I don't think so. Sadly, <laughs> Tucker the Playboy. You say this town's uh, not safe? No way. Compared to Chicago, Chicago, this is nothing. <laughs> God damn. Chicago runs on moonshine profits, and the mafia is uh, warring every day. At least people don't get shot in this town. Holy hot damn. I mean, even I know about Chicago viewers. But actually, even when I'm young, I've, uh, I, I've, 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 been, I've known Chicago for having two things. It was the, the, place, where, the place where they shot uh, uh, ER, the TV show. And uh, that it has the highest uh, crime rate in all of uh, the Uni United uh, States. You live in Chicago? You finna get shot. Machu Mori. Uh, hey, hey, Squirt. Squirt? What the? I don't know. <laughs> you, call, you just call me a Squirt. Uh, I don't know why you've been uh, loitering around. Or what you're uh, snooping around for. But you best get, uh, get home before dark, because in this town, thugs snatch up noisy, uh, noisy people asking questions. Is that a threat? I think he's threatening me. 